Wow, I found gun. You know why I do? I've got 10 new teas. Apple faces. <laughs> what kind of cringe intro is that? Well, mine. Anyways, guys, I've got 10 new tarantulas in here. Yes, 10 new tarantulas in here. And they're not those small, small little tarantula species like the like the geniculata. Just kidding. They get about 8 inches. But these guys get freaking 13 inches. So I just collected these 10 from the the usual, you know, the, the seller that gives you burgers. Yeah, the, the burger tarantula burger packing seller. Yes, I got 10 of these tarantulas from him. And look at them. They're really huge, man. They're quite huge as slings. This is a sling size. Yes, these guys, 13 inches as, as adults. You would expect their slings to be pretty big, and they are. Look at that. So, I got them in these enclosures pretty much. He said that I can just keep them in here until they outgrow it to the next rehouse. So, he basically just put in damp moss for me with some ventilation holes on the top. So, yeah, that's how we're going to house them for now. And we are going to be feeding them today in this video. So... Let's go. Look at it. You can already see their pink foot. So that is how a pink foot goliath, therefore apophysis, apophysis, how they look like as slings. And we've got huge superworms. Yes, when they are slings, they can eat superworms. Other slings, we feed them mealworms, little baby turkey sand roaches. These guys, these badass things, they eat full live superworms just like our adults. So let's see, the first superworm, wow, this one's a really active worm. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, calm down, little buddy, because you are gonna get eaten. Oh, <laughs> look at that, oh my gosh. Yeah, these guys, as young slings, they grow pretty quickly, as you would expect when you give them big food. But yeah, at a certain age, once they reach like a juvenile stage, they'll slow down their growth, but yeah. Super, super cool. Let me show you mine. So earlier, I bought three apophyses, if you guys remember it quite some time back. And they're already pretty big. This is one of them. There's a girl. Yep, there's a female. I think it's about five to six inches. There's another one in the burrow, coconut burrow over there. Both of these are females. Don't come out while I show the third one. Okay, so we have this guy over here. This one is a male. Well, he's gonna mature out quicker than the other two females, so not sure if I should keep him. We'll see. Oh, there he goes. So let's continue the feeding. And I got those three at that size, or maybe slightly smaller if you guys remember. So yeah, we've got nine more, so let's go. Oh, super worm, oh, super worm. You are gonna get eaten. No, oh, wait, I think this one's in, in pre-mold. Yeah, because it's a little bit different color compared to the first one. Yeah, I think this one's in in, in, in pre-mold because its colors are still very, very dark. So, yeah, sorry, Superworm. You'll get another tarantula. And also, I know that that one's in pre-mold because I don't see any mold. Like, for the ones that mold, you can see there's a mold over there. Yeah, that one, I took out the mold. Oh, soup. Superworm, oh, superworm, are you ready to get, oh my gosh, oh my, wrestle that worm, you, you, you let go the worm, you let the worm go, buddy, come on, man, you get the worm, freaking worm is, is like, escaping, it's escaping, it's escaping, come on, grab the worm, do you not want the worm, <laughs> You know, I'll pre-kill this worm for you. All right, I've got the worm pre-kill. Let her scavenge on it. Sorry guys, not all are eating. I'll try to make sure that this one eats for us. Okay, come on, come on. I told them that we'll make sure that you eat. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What are you doing, little buddy? Come on, let's grab the super worm. There you go, there you go. Oh, look at that. Oh, let go of the super worm, but it's okay. You're going to go for an next try. There you go. Nice. Now you got it more under control. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Man, I love feeding small tarantulas big meals because they, they, they just go ballistic. It's crazy, man. 
This is so freaking cool. Dun dun, you're casually walking, walking at the side. But you're coming with me, cause this tarantula may be hungry. Yes, she is hungry. You were hungry. Let's grab the bus super worm. It's gonna say meal worm. But you were hungry. Come and get it. We are, no, you can't see from the side, sad. Come on, come on. You know you want it. You know you want it. <laughs> You gotta probably grab it from the side, man. Like, why are you even... You don't know how to wrestle worms. You don't know how to wrestle worms. Come on. Come on. Let's grab the worm. Let's grab the worm. Grab the worm. Here you go. Come on. No? Okay. This one's gonna be pre-killed as well. See the first pre-killed one? She took it. Yeah, some of them are more aggressive, so they'll just tackle it and wrestle with the worm. But some of them, they're more timid, so yeah, I'll pre-kill the worm for them. Man, we're running out of super worms. I think, yeah, I think we do have the exact amount to feed everyone. Or maybe we have a little bit more. But I'm gonna have to go buy more super worms. Super worm team, let's go! Look at that. Oh, you can see some of the worm juices coming out already. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so evil, man. I feel so evil. Like, like feeding these little innocent little... No, they're not innocent. They'll bite you. They'll pinch you hard. So far, we've got three who took life once. One took a pre-kill. One is still haven't taken the pre-kill. And one's in pre-mold. And we've got four more. Yeah, we've got the molt and the tarantula. So now we've got a soup. Super worm, a super worm. Come on, yeah. Oh, that's it, that's it. You got it. Nice, nice. The ones that take, they just really wrestle it to the ground, man. <laughs> this is so fun to feed. You guys, if you haven't got your hands on a Theraphosa apophysis, oh man, you can see one puncture wound there. Go and get one, man. Y you are missing out if you haven't got one of this species. Now, I have had a Stormy before, remember Death Nugget? Yeah, that was my only Stormy. So there are three Theraphosas, I believe. Apophysis, Stormy, and Blondie. And so far, I've kept Apophysis and Stormy. I have not kept Blondie yet. I'll probably get that very, very soon. Okay, so here's another one. Another one. Come on and grab the soup. Oh, oh, you just bit it. You just bit it. You just bit Come on, yes. Second round. Second round. Come on, worm, move. Move a little bit. Move. There we go. That's it. Come on. Come on. Grab it. Or do you need some encouragement? Do you need some encouragement? Yeah? Come on. Grab it. There you go. There you go. Good job, buddy. Good freaking job. Just need a little bit of encouragement with the tongs. And yeah, you know, tongs are for the weak, right? But it is what it is. You, you need something. Even if it makes you weak, you need it. Come on. <laughs> what am I even talking about, rambling about? Oh, well. Okay, let's move on to... Oh, we've got two more, so let's go. Okay, I'm guessing this one's about to molt because it laid a wet mat. I'm not sure if it's gonna molt. Oh, wait, it already molted. Okay, okay, so that's not a mat for you to molt. Maybe it was. Maybe she molted on that mat, but we're gonna try to give her a worm anyway, so let's see how this goes. Woo, yep. Yep, 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 it's not even focused, come on, man, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah, yeah, come on, grab the wormy, the wormy, the wormy before it burrows, it's, it's gonna burrow, come on, it's gonna burrow, there you go, yeah, no, you need me to pre-kill this one for you? <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty much how I pre-kill them, but I missed for this one, but, yeah. I, I, I don't know if this one is going to... I think I may have to pre-kill this worm because this tea does not seem to be... Wait, be right back. Okay, done. You could see that she actually wanted the worm before because she immediately attacked it. Usually if tarantulas don't want any food, they would just run away or threat posture. But this one, she pretty much went for it. So maybe she's not ready to tackle such a big and active prey. Okay, so last but not the least, let's see how this one tackles. Hopefully this one gives us a good takedown because it's the last one. This one could be in pre-molt like the second one just now because I don't see any molt in the enclosure and the color is quite dull. 
but let's see regardless if it'll take a worm if you're happy and you know we grab the worm yeah i don't think this one's hungry because she didn't even jump on it come on yep see see what i mean i told you before if a tarantula doesn't want to eat they will either run away or threat posture like this one threat posturing and running away so unfortunately <laughs> the last feeding was not a success it's not a success so yeah we'll let those two molt and then hopefully in the future we'll get a nicer takedown from them so yeah guys that will be it for today's video we have got 10 new tarantulas i feel good and yeah i'll see you in the next video stay safe guys take care peace